An emotional trial filled with graphic testimony ended Monday with singer R. Kelly convicted on all nine counts in his sex trafficking trial, the most high-profile musician brought down in the Me Too era. Prosecutors accused the R&B singer of exploiting his stardom over a quarter century to lure victims into his orbit for sex. Acting U.S. Attorney Jacqueline Kasoulis called him a predator. A predator who used his inner circle to ensnare underage girls and young men and women for decades in a sordid web of sex abuse, exploitation, and humiliation. Jurors in Brooklyn federal court deliberated for a little more than a day before voting to convict the 54-year-old Kelly after a five-and-a-half-week trial. Attorney Gloria Allred represented some of the victims. She said Kelly recorded them being sexually abused and humiliated as a means to control them. He directed these videos and produced them, not only for his own sexual gratification, but in some instances for the purpose of using these videos to silence and threaten his victims with public exposure, exposure of these tapes if they ever revealed what he had done to them. Prosecutors said Kelly plucked some of his victims from crowds at his concerts with the aid of people in his entourage. Testimony from the 45 government witnesses portrayed often in graphic detail an unseemly side to Kelly's 30-year music career, whose highlights include the 1996 Grammy-winning smash, I Believe I Can Fly. One witness hoping to interview him for a radio station said he locked her up for at least two days without food or water before assaulting her. Kelly has repeatedly denied sexual abuse accusations. Defense attorney Devereaux Kanick said Kelly was not anticipating the guilty verdict. Because based on the evidence, why should he anticipate this verdict? When you go over to discovery, you saw witness after witnesses giving three, four, five different versions as to what they said happened here. Kelly still faces federal charges in Chicago on child pornography and obstruction and state charges in Illinois and Minnesota.